I've just found one of my biggest shark teeth. Have a look down here. Hi everyone. I've just hiked an hour, maybe four kilometers. And I'm heading to a new spot. I've never been here before. There's some gnarly rocks I'm climbing over here. I think you can only get to this spot at low tide. So I have a very limited <laughs> window of fossil hunting here. These rocks are weird. They're just full of fossil shells like oysters. These are all oysters over here. And pretty much every rock is just full of them. So definitely fossils around, but I haven't seen any vertebrate fossils yet. Well, it's still early. Let's go check out the next area. I've just found my first fossil echinoid, a uh, sand dollar. Have a look down here. Two actually on top of each other, and they're huge. Have a look at that. There's one sand dollar over there, and there's another one there. And it's even got like this really cool texture to it. You can see how big they are. They're enormous. And there's a few other broken ones down here. Must be a few of them around here. That's so cool. <laughs> I don't think it's going to last very long. This piece here yeah, is supposed to go up here. It's supposed to fit in there, but it's just kind of lying next to it. So it must be quite newly exposed. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. I saw a few bits and pieces of them. Uh, further down the cliffs, I came to have a look where they're coming from, and here they are. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> That's a really dense looking bone over there. I think it's bone, I can see some bone texture. Let's go have a look, it's, it's right behind that um, log over there. can't really get much closer but that's that's very big yeah that looks like bone look at that arch down there oh <laughs> to me it looks like part of a skull it's big it's about 35 centimeters long I would say just over a foot Try and get closer, but it's it's quite dodgy down there. I even see a bottle down there, I think. Yeah, I'm not going down there. So sort I of don't want to lose my camera down there. There you go. Now you can get a sense of the scale. Yeah, it's very dense on top there. Very dense bone. I've just found one of my biggest shark teeth. Have a look down here. I'm so lucky to have spotted this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a great white tooth over there. And it's not a small one either. It's got some really nice serrations to it. <laughs> There's still a little bit of the, the root left over there on that side. It's kind of eroded away there, but it's still in beautiful shape and it's such a cool color. That's a big tooth. That would have been a, a pretty decent sized great white shark. If it is a great white, it sure looks like it. Oh, I'm so stoked with this. Of course, it would be at the furthest part of my hike. <laughs> uh, this is probably at least six kilometers. What's that? Maybe four miles, just under four miles. Yeah, <laughs> to the spot. So it is. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like at least a ten-kilometer round trip to get here. But I'll walk that for this tooth. That's a nice tooth. I don't think I've ever found a fossil great white tooth actually. 